All eyes on the hardwood at Mohegan as the Connecticut Sun opened the WNBA season against the league's newest star. Yeah, Caitlin Clark, the Caitlin Clark show, I should say, came to Connecticut. Drawing fans from all over the country. The game was a sellout and it lived up to the hype. The Sun were ready for the challenge, though. Fox 61's Jonah Karp has a recap of the big game and uh, some reaction from the players. And during this home opener, Connecticut Sun head coach Stephanie White told her team this is business as usual. But the sold out crowd here at Mohegan Sun Arena was anything but usual. Many fans wearing Caitlin Clark shirts, Clark making her WNBA regular season debut, not for the home team, but for the Indiana Fever, the number one overall draft pick out of Iowa, drawing the start and cheers from the Uncasville crowd. But a quiet opening quarter. We'll get to that. The Sun, meanwhile, firing away Ty Harris collect lets it fly and hits a 16 point effort for her. Meanwhile, Caitlin Clark on the bench with two fouls. No points for Clark in the first quarter. She played 10 minutes before tallying her first bucket and here it is a swipe and go. Clark taking it the distance. Her first WNBA points coming on a layup. Fever still down nine in the second quarter. Sun meanwhile in a groove. Dejanet Carrington tees it up and she hits Carrington with 16 points. Also, she did a heck of a job defending Caitlin Clark. Sun up 10 at halftime. Picking things up in the second half, a milestone night for Dewana Bonner. She lays one in, and with that bucket, Bonner moves to fifth place on the all-time WNBA scoring list. Back to Caitlin Clark. She never found much of a rhythm in this one. Hits a step-back triple here, one of four three-pointers for her. Clark finishes the game with 20 points on 33% shooting and 10 turnovers. The Sun closed it out strong in the fourth quarter. Off a of Clark miss, Alyssa Thomas brings down her 10th rebound of the game to complete her ninth career triple double. The Suns start the season with a W 92 to 71 the final score over the Indiana Fever. We always have a great fan base here that loves and supports us and um, yeah we feel it. I feel it. I've been here what going on 11 years so um, they've been rocking with me from from day one and um, I appreciate them and um, that's one of the reasons why we have one of the best home records in the league is, is because of them and um, like I said without them too, none of this is possible. Oftentimes it's tough when you're asked to, to defend the opponent's best player um, to then find your offensive rhythm. Sometimes that's hard, and I thought that Dijanae did a, a terrific job. She made the right reads, she made the right plays, didn't play outside of herself um, on either end of the floor. She stayed incredibly disciplined on defense, um, and, and again, we're gonna, we're gonna need that from her on a consistent basis. I don't know, obviously it wasn't like the best start in the first half for myself. Uh, getting into foul trouble and then you got to sit on the bench and try to come back to into the game and get into a little bit of a flow, but um, obviously too many turnovers. Um, that's not going to get the job done, but I think just a lot to learn from. You know, it's the first one. There's going to be good ones. There's going to be bad ones. And, you know, like we said in the locker room, like we play on Thursday. You got to learn from it and move on and be ready to go. Caitlin Clark, one of only three players in WNBA history to tally 20 points and four triples in a debut, but it wasn't enough. The Connecticut Sun with a strong performance in this one, and they're back at home on Friday to host the Washington Mystics. Inside Mohegan Sun Arena, Jonah Carp, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.